See, this one I'm using right here is a hammer strength gripper. It's one of the few pieces I have in my garage right here in my, in my <laughs> home gym that picked it up. It's a classic piece of equipment. You might find it around the country. Uh, kind of a fun little piece of memorabilia, but it's hardcore, it's heavy duty, and it's all been restored to like new. So anyway, anyway, today's subject matter, welcome, first of all, welcome to Mr. America Hart. I'm John Hart, and I'd like to share with you today a little bit of wisdom, of a wisdom bomb that was dropped on me by Eddie Giuliani. Eddie Giuliani was not just a professional bodybuilder back in the 1970s and the early 80s, but he was also the manager of World Gym. That's Joe Gold's gym, World Gym, in Marina del Rey and also in Venice and Muscle Beach when it was there. So Eddie one day says to me, John, see, I was staying lean all year long and I was in the middle of competing and he had concern for me, right? He wanted to see me do well and win shows. And he said to me, John, you need to get out of shape if you plan on getting in shape. What did that mean? You know, Eddie talked to me and he said, either way, you have to make a choice. You're either going to have to get some body fat on you, something like that. A few layers of extra body fat. So you do get a little bit bulky. So typical bulk that we talk about these days. Or... You're going to have to let everything kind of go down. And he meant muscle mass. In my world, unacceptable. I just don't even do that, man. Drop muscle mass, let everything kind of like this, and then build up into the show. And he told me that that was their practice back in the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, was they would actually shrink. Now, of course, he was referencing and speaking within the context of mostly unnatural enhanced athletes. In my case, you know, I'm a natural bodybuilder, so my goal in my competing years was to always strive for more lean muscle mass. And I believe that the majority of the public, you perhaps, who are training, that you are not enhanced. If you are not enhanced, then you should be striving for growing new muscle mass at all times. But you should never let it disappear on you. That's my take on that. I've put it and written that in my books as well. Uh, by the way, my books, speaking of which, if you have the chance, you want to check out, uh, I'll put the picture up here, Physique 101. It's probably the best book that I've written. It's on my website. You can get the download there or it's out there on Amazon for a paperback. And also Mr. America's Shape Up series and year one in the beginning. I'll give some descriptions down below in the video description about those books and who they would apply to. But the main point here is that we want to have an off-season. He was right. Eddie was right. You do need to have an off-season where hormonally you have enough calories coming in. Your body perceives that it's on an oasis. You're not in a wilderness where it's hoarding calories for body fat stores, but you're actually taking in plenty of food on a regular basis and maybe storing a little bit of body fat. But you're doing so with the intention of letting your body know that everything is all good, and it's okay to lay down some new muscle mass in response to our workouts. Training really hard, stimulating new muscle growth, take that off season, that could be anywhere from three to nine months, and then taking the proper amount of time to reduce calories, increase cardio or activity in general, to burn off body fat and get in the best shape possible. And you'll see it's a little bit easier to do when you've already been out of shape, to get in shape, it happens faster, it happens with a lot more ease, not so much hardcore dedication. So if you mess the diet up a couple of times, it's pretty easy to get in better shape. I hear a couple of guys out there talk about this all the time. My old friend, Mike O'Hearn, he's also uh, constantly talking about you know, how most guys don't listen to him and aren't willing to get out of shape a little bit. Zay, level off the camera in order to get in better shape and to dedicate a part of a season to getting in the best shape possible. That's the way it should be done. So you do temporarily take one step back to go 
three or four steps ahead in your development and in your look. Now, what does that look like? Well, after your off season is done, where you're doing no cardio, you're just training with weights, and you take three to nine months to do that, and you're attempting everything you can to grow new muscle mass, intense workouts, all of that, you start to go on your diet, and you start to increase your cardio, maybe week by week or every other week, and then at some point, once your target date has been reached, your best shape possible has been achieved, you go into a reversal. You reverse the diet, you reverse the cardio. You don't just stop doing either one of them, because then you'll be literally a fat magnet. You don't want to be a fat magnet. So any acquired body fat, when you reverse the diet and reverse the cardio, won't mess you up long term. I go over exactly how to reverse the diet and the cardio in Physique 101. So you could take a look at that. And I outline for about 8, 12 weeks how you can do this. Okay, detail for detail. So... Do I believe in getting out of shape to get in shape? Yes, I do. There's some famous pictures out there you'll see of Lee Priest in particular. By the way, great guy, great bodybuilder, one of the greatest bodybuilders of the 90s. A friend of mine from back in the day when we were both at World Gym. We've hung out quite a few times. I really like Lee. This is not a slight against him. When I show these pictures, these are public pictures that he's done in an advertising campaign. But he went from out of shape to in shape. And I know all of y'all, a lot of y'all are going to say, ah, steroids, steroids, steroids. Look, the reality of it is, is plenty of guys go from out of shape to in shape with drugs, without drugs. And Lee did believe in letting his body weight go up, his calories go up, his body fat go up. And he got, as a result of that, a great reaction for 12 weeks, however many weeks he would take, 16 weeks, 18 weeks, to get in the best shape possible. His body was responding. It was willing to give up the body fat. It was willing to grow new muscle even in response to his workouts. It was a new stimulus. And so that's what I'm also advocating. So I hope, Lee, you don't take any offense to what I just said in any way, shape, or form, okay? Great pictures. You're one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. And I miss you. So there you go. So that's it for today. From my heart to you, John Hart. Hey, before you go, off to my left, you're going to see a disc pop up. That is the subscribe button for my channel. Down and off to your right, you're going to see a thumbs up button. Once you give that thing a tap and turn it blue, that lets the YouTube algorithm know you're really liking my videos. And I like when you do it too. I'll see you soon.